The Pokemon mode finally got its update and I can't wait to try out all the new Pokemon. We also have 10 achievements that we can get. I think survive an extremely powerful curse, that should be doable. So how about we take Groudon, who starts off very powerful and then quickly falls off, or over time. And I would say let's just go to the library and see what he does. Given that we start with the fire wand, I want to start with heart of fire. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, Gatia Mari, I, I don't think we want to have that. A little cat with a fire demon. Hmm. I just realized we have 18 armor and 500 H and might. Oh my god, what is going on? Okay, but we are a bit slower. Should I just go? Nah, let's go for the garlic, okay? We need the garlic. Easy. Oh my god. That is actually really powerful. Okay, spinach is a given. We want to evolve the fire wand. And I think I will just head over... Ooh, should we just go for lightning ring? Otherwise, we could just go for whip and then to sacro. Yeah, let's do that. I like the idea. I gotta be honest, I looked at the Pokemon... Ooh, Skolomaniac, perfect. I looked at the Pokemon a little bit, and I gotta say, they are really interesting. Especially the ones that we unlocked with the achievements. And I'm inclined to make a video on each of them. But this really depends on what you think about this, if you want to see more or not. So just let me know that I get a feeling for it. Otherwise, I'll probably just choose one or two more. Maybe from the unlocks or something, and play more over there. I can't go for center water. I'm a fire Pokemon. Well, fire ground. Wait. Yeah. He was fire, right? I can't believe it. Groudon is not a fire Pokemon. His primal form is, but his base form isn't. That doesn't make any sense to me. Why would you do that? Uh, whatever. It's fine. I mean, we can still make this work. We just gotta pretend that we have the, the fire breath and stuff like this. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. So, how do I... Ooh... That sounds very fitting for Groudon. I don't know why, but it just looks like it. Uh, let me get the ceiling over there. So did we lose anything? Well, we got HP. That's from the Hollow Heart. Aside from that, our armor is still there. Our might is still there. Wait, what was that? <laughs> I look like a chicken. <laughs> Wait, doesn't this look like the... Um, what is it called? Deli bird, right? The birdie that throws the press... Wait a second. No, that's not me. That's... Oh my god, it is Deli... Is it called Deli Bird? I, I said this the last time. I suck with the names in English in Pokemon. I do remember some of them because I watch a YouTuber, Pokemon Challenges, who does Pokemon Challenges, you know. But I didn't grow up with the English names, so for me this is really, really difficult. Oh, but there we go. Come on, we'll make this work. Should I just walk over there and immediately get the curse? I feel like I should first get the Empty Tome and then see how we perform. Yeah, that sounds better. Lightning Ring just in general. The Duplicator will be good. I mean, I don't know what I'm building right now, let's be honest. The build is horrible, but I think we can still make it work. Should we go for Pumarola? Soul Eater on Groudon? I mean, I mean, I, come on, come on, we have to. Bracelet? Fire Breath? Yes, please. It's horrible as a weapon, but yes, I'll take that. The only problem with the weapon is that it takes multiple evolutions. Okay, it's also not a good weapon. <laughs> That's a given. But it takes multiple evolutions, so this will take quite some time until we have it maxed out. But I think we can do that. Wait a second. Oh, duplicated. There we go. Do I want to have the curse first? I think I want to have the curse first. Because then I can already get more experience in general. I think that will be better. I'm currently thinking about what I want to evolve first out of my weapons. Either it's gonna... Oh, nice. Either it's gonna be Hellfire or Death Spiral. Well, I just realized I can't get Ventusacro anymore. Ah, uh, we didn't need Ventusacro. That was never the plan in the first place. Yeah, yeah tr tr trust me. <laughs> hey, I need the healing. I don't know how strong this will be. Or rather, how weak Groudon will become over time. So I want to make sure that I can actually survive this. And whether I have Fuvolo Fuvolu or Bloody Tear, come on, the difference is not very big. There we go. But at the same time, I don't want to use something like Laurel and Crimson Shroud, where it's just impossible to die. That's a little bit too boring for me. Said the guy that took the healing. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's okay. Oh, thank you for the chest. We got an axe, very nice. So, what do I want to go for? Uh, we need a Candle Labrador. Aside from that... Okay, we have a problem right here. There are three items that I really want to have. Trona's box, Ken Labrador, and Pomerola, right? 
And I think I'll make the decision that I will not evolve the garlic. We'll just keep the garlic as a little knockback assistance. And that's gonna be it. That means I can then evolve the X to death spiral. The thing is, it didn't state how much curse you need to unlock the unlock. <laughs> that is a funny thing to say. Uh, should I just banish this? Oh, let's... Mm. Oh, we did lose health. I think we can cheat the system a little bit. Let's max out the health first. So whenever you get a health bonus, like we just did now, it's a percentage bonus based on the health that you have in this very moment. Meaning, if I get the health upgrades before it takes them away from the level ups, then I win. Like, I get more health than I would get if I would do it after all the health got removed. Because the removal is a set amount. Like, you can't remove percentages. You can only say, okay, you lose 50 health now, for example. Oh, that, that, is, that is just cheating the system. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, did I lose health again? No, not yet. Okay. I really need to get these hollow heart upgrades before it decreases. Come on. Hollow heart. Did it decrease? No, good. I need hollow heart. I'm not gonna waste a reroll for that, right? Nah, that's not worth it. I mean, in the end, health is just health. It's not like it's something that is super duper needed. It's just that I saw that I could get free health, so I wanted it. And more lightning ring, there we go. Hmm, soul eater or death spiral? I'm really thinking about this right now. With limit break, X becomes a very good weapon. But only if you put all the levels into it, like nothing else. So I think I don't want to have it. Yeah, I'm fine as it is. Torna's box because of the curse to guarantee that we get the achievement. Candle Labrador to evolve Death Spiral and Garlic. Hey, come on. Garlic is either way better than Soul Eater because it's Garlic. It looks like a Badox. So I think we are losing stats every 10 levels, maybe? I'm not too sure about this. It's still the same. Oh, Fire Wand, there we go. Let's get this. And we have another level in X. I'll head over there to the two curse items and I think I'll just immediately pick them up. Well, okay, right after I maxed out. For whatever reason, the Hollow Heart doesn't want to show up. It did early on, but now it's just like, yep, I don't exist anymore. Yeah, look at this. Doesn't exist anymore. Fire Wand is maxed out. That is very good. I think I will also max out X. Just that one of them will evolve for 10 minutes, the other one at 11 minutes. I guess more garlic. Okay, sure. <laughs> it's like, why not? Okay. Garlic really wants to be in the picture. Come on, holo heart, there we go. We still have 8 for 8 health, so it didn't decrease. It might also be every 20 levels that it decreases. We know it already decreased once. Okay, there's Candle Labrador, very nice. I, I can't take you, I'm sorry. X, just looking for Toruna's box. And at 40, I'll pay attention to the level up if we lost something. Okay, so our HP right now is 1, 2, 2, 1. Let's see if that decreases the moment we get to level 40. That is at least my assumption, that is always in 20 steps. Mainly because we haven't seen a change after I noticed it the first time. Okay, the little guy spawned now, that means I can just walk through them. And I think I will take my time now to just banish, well, I can't banish anything here. But I will just banish the passive items, but I will just banish the items that are in the game right now to make it more likely that I get the Trona's box. Otherwise, I'm just sitting around the curse and nothing happens. This dude is so slow. <laughs> it's amazing. It's really... Something about this animation is... It, it just doesn't sit right. Like, it's great that you see more movement. Don't get me wrong. I like that. But at the same time, it's a little bit weird. It's like there's just one or two frames missing to make this work. And I would highly recommend just using six frames. Like, if this is done the typical way, then you can just say how many frames it's supposed to use. You can even repeat frames sometimes to make something more fluent. Ooh, careful there. I think Red Death does this in multiple stages. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Okay. Now I just need the Turner's box. Could I have that, please? Ooh, careful there. Ooh, ah. Okay, we still have 1, 2, 2, 1. And that is at level... Oh, 39. I thought we were 40. Never mind. The question is, do I want to trigger the other Guardian already? Hmm. Yes. And I didn't even notice this, but we went down to 15 armor. So we lose... I actually don't know how much health. Probably 50. We lose 3 armor. And we lose... How much might? The might is harder, but I would say... Was it 50%? I'm saying it's harder because we also have spinach. So I have a 300 something in my mind that we started on. 
But we also got spinach, right? Yeah, let's just check it out with the level up here. So right now we have 1, 2, 2, 1. Uh, yeah, just look at this and compare it later on. Okay, level 40. We did lose health. I think that was 50. 1, 2, 2, 1, yes. We lost 3 armor. We lost... Uh, I'm just gonna say we lost 50 health. I honestly don't know it. Wait a second. Do we get duration and area? Uh, for this, I would actually need to know the base stats that the character had. But I think we got some duration and area. Okay, there's the other one triggered. Nice. <laughs> Depending on how you view it. At least we are back to the farming waves. That will make it a lot easier to get the stuff that I want. And I should really banish stuff. I need a Toronas box that I can get going with the entire thing. Come on. The Guardians are really annoying. <laughs> with negative 10% movement speed, it's quite something to outrun them. Now, luckily, I don't have a lot of curse in this very moment. So that's good. Why am I not getting... Oh my god. Why does this take so long to level up here? This should actually be quite simple, but it isn't. Let's banish the armor. There we go. The character also has the same issue that Leda had, where the character is too big. I assume the drawing for the hitbox is also very big. And it doesn't work well collecting the experience sometimes. Like, it's just floating below me and that's it. Careful. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, I am tanky, so I'm not too, too concerned. Oh, let's banish Razor. There we go. I should... Yeah, I'm still one-shotting these. Easy peasy. Oh, I killed one. Nice. Uh, more curse. I think I can still outrun him. It will only update at minute 10, so we are fine here. Ooh, careful. But I would have loved to have a ton of curse right now. Just to get more out of this wave. Okay, he died. Very nice. Let's banish Clover. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I have entirely new audio settings. I hope they are fine. Not too much different, or at least not worse. I had a couple of issues, so I had to pretty much reset everything. And I decided to switch over from Streamlabs OBS to the normal OBS Studio. Because I was already doing a lot of changes, you know. And there I did a couple of changes according to guides. And I listened to it, and it, it was different. I honestly didn't like it too much. But the thing is, I'm a person, I don't like change. So, even if it was better, I would still say, nah, I don't like it. Because the other one is the one that I'm used to. And before I fiddle around for ages, I just wanted to have one entire episode. Where someone could maybe give feedback or say, okay, it's better, it's worse. And stuff like this. Okay, we have our first evolution. This Torunas box is really annoying me right now. I don't know what it is recently, but I'm getting so frustrated. If I don't get the stuff that I want to have... Like, I don't know what changed. I used to be more than fine with it, but lately I'm like, dude, I like, I just want to have fun. Let me have some fun. What is this? Where's Toruna's box? Uh, either way, let's get the chest. Okay, nice. That is an evolution. Uh, Death Spiral would be better. And we have Death Spiral. Perfect. Because this one is just better to hit all the enemies, guaranteed. Uh, could you actually... There we go. Well, that's a tiny X, you know. It's fine. Imagine I could already be with Empty Tome. Oh yeah, rub it in. <laughs> rub it in. What is this? I can't even banish anything. Oh, uh, lightning ring. I'm currently wondering if Toronas box is in the game. But this mod is a very easy install. You just download it and drag it into the folder. So I do assume that Toronas box is in here. Hopefully. Wait a second. Okay, I just wanted to make sure in case there's something funky going on. But it is in the game. It's all good. And this is our Arcana. Come on. Uh, whip. Okay, sure. Where's the other guy that gives us an evolution? Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is Hellfire. That should definitely be amazing now, combined with Heart of Fire. And what other Arcana do I want to go for? To be honest, I think Slash is the one that I want to go for, and after that for Iron Blue Will. Um, where's Slash? There it is. Nice. And there we go. Come on, Truna. Stop doing this. It's no fun to hide. <sighs> okay. I can't even reroll because otherwise I don't have any rerolls left for the last Arcana. And I have a feeling it just doesn't want to show up. <laughs> Where is it? Why are you doing this to me? Come on. Well, let's just max out a weapon. Uh, we will have a chest here. So we have one to evolve. That is very good. Can Labrador is done. I just want to get them done. That I get new offers. And not always the stuff that I already have. Okay, let's just quickly kill the bat. There we go. And that is our Thunder Loop. Welcome to the team. 
Let's take a look at our stats right now. They didn't decrease, right? Wait, what? I honestly expected at this point it would have went down again, but it didn't. I will look at it occasionally, maybe at level 80, where I would expect it the next time. Maybe it decreased something else and I didn't notice it. Um, I don't, I don't know. Area looks also interesting. So I just took a look at the numbers here again, and it looks like we actually got recovery. And we definitely got duration, we definitely got area. Down here I see no difference, I honestly couldn't tell of magnet changes, I'm sorry. Luck looks not- Growth went down! Why would you- Oh, <laughs> okay. I mean, that explains a lot. There we have it, okay. Now it's time to collect everything, and I'll go over and get the empty tome. Oh, it would have been good to have crown here, for sure. With the current microphone settings, I can just sit back. The old ones that I had, I had to get relatively close. There was also the reason you heard the S sounds and the popping sounds when I said T or P or something like this. I hope this is better now, but doing it this way also means, well, I'm further away, right? So it might sound a little bit more echoey, and I hope in processing, while I'm editing everything, I can somehow combat that a little bit, and overall the quality will be better. But that is at least my goal. Okay, there's a lot of experience. I don't have a weapon to wolf right now, so I will max out the whip here. Okay, well, I have a weapon to wolf right now, perfect. And bracelet, and bracelet, one more bracelet. Please be a triple chest maybe for once? No, oh, okay, it's fine. We have bloody tear. That means even with our bad movement speed that we have, it should be fine. And there we go, more Taruna. I want to have the bonus curse. Do I want to have the bonus curse before I fight the guardians? Sounds stupid, doesn't it? So instead I will just head over there and I will trigger one of the guardians, first empty tome, then one of the guardians, then get the curse and then we rest. We have the limit breaks going. So does Groudon feel like a Groudon would feel like that I would expect in the game? I mean, he's very tanky, he's very powerful. I think that is quite fitting. He's also slow. This is definitely a feature I would have also given to the Pokemon. Uh, can I evolve? Yes. Where's the bat? So overall I would say, job well done. Now one thing you need to be aware of, especially recently with Limit Break, a lot of the balance of Vampire Survivors was thrown into the dumpster. Not that there was a lot of balancing, but you know, if you did balancing, I, I don't know, two patches ago or so, then now it's completely off with Limit Break. And one thing that I loved about this mod was it felt somewhat challenging, or maybe not challenging, but I didn't feel like I'm an immortal god, okay? And if you play Vampire Survivors just to feel like an Immortal God, then this mod might not be the right thing for you. But I would still advise just giving it a try, since you can't really get the feeling in the game that you have to work for it, unless you limit yourself to, for example, not use Arcana, not use power-ups, or not get a single evolution. But I gotta say, if I know I have the option, I don't take it, I just feel bad about it, because I know it's there, and I have to force myself to do it. Oh, there's a chest. Let's get the bracelet upgraded. And then we only need one more chest at 16 minutes. There is, I think, a bad dead spawns, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure if the chest will be guaranteed from that enemy. Oh, wow. I just got the orb that has everything in it. And there we have it. Level 6. Perfect. Uh, I don't really want to have the curse now. Ooh, this guardian will be a very tough fight. I Let's embrace it. Okay, I just... Oh. Of course, now you stopped. I thought it would just keep going. Um, yeah. I, 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 I can do this. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I'm so scared constantly that I accidentally press the record button. Like, for the first time ever, I do have a button now to start the recording and end the recording. And I'm really scared that I accidentally press it. And it just stops the recording. It's on the numpad, so it shouldn't really happen. But, uh, yeah, it's always quite... Ooh, ooh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. Careful there. It's always quite scary if you do a change to a system that you're used to. Since you're only used to take care of the stuff or be alerted. Yeah, okay, not a chest, thank you. To be alerted of the stuff that was a problem back then, right? You don't think about the other stuff. Wait a second. <gasps> we lost health! Okay. Oh my god, we have barely any armor left. We do have a decent amount of might, but I think... Mm, I'm not too sure. Is this because of Torona, I would assume? We actually have a very high amount. Okay, area kept scaling, spellbinder kept scaling. 
I think the speed is from Taruna's box, but this number doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah, I believe our speed is also growing. But it must be at a very low number. Our growth is at 6%, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, uh, sure. Sure. That is honestly a very nice way to deal with limit break. Either you have a build that is good, or you will barely level up anymore. And that was it. That is another way for a failure scenario, right? If your build is too bad, you get nothing. I don't remember when the next boss spawns. I think it's at 18 minutes, but there might also be one at 17 minutes. The library has a boss every single minute, starting at 10 minutes. No, I think at 17 minutes there's a break. And the next one is at 18 minutes, yes. Okay. There we have the empty tome. Thank you. Careful with the arrow. It's right next to me. And, oh. Oh, thank you. Empty tome. Ooh, okay, let's let's get all the curse, I guess. Uh, sure. Now I have to be a little bit careful. We have area for death spell, that is very good. 2% might for hellfire is decent. Area for death spell yet again. I'm not concerned. You are concerned. <laughs> this might end the entire run, I gotta say. Nah, it will be fine. We are attacking fast enough, right? What is our cooldown? Negative 35... Wait, what? Oh yeah, that makes sense. I think we started at plus 10%. I think. Maybe. Maybe not. Are you ready? There he is. Oh my god, is he fast? Oh, hellfire, you gotta shoot at him. No, no, no. <laughs> He's bumping my butt. No, stop that. <laughs> please, please. Uh, okay, as long as no enemy gets here and bumps him into me, we are fine. Okay, that was spicy. But the six armor definitely showed off. I mean, okay, maybe also the 1k health that <laughs> might have a little impact. You might wonder why I didn't go for the other arrow for the bonus HP. It would be nice just... Oh my god. Well, we did a lot of damage. No, it would have been nice in general, but think about it. We are in limit break territory right now, and that has a ton of value to me, right? It makes you super powerful. So I don't want to waste 8 level ups on an arrow that gives me a little bit of health. No one is touching me right now. I don't think they will ever touch me in the future. That's not a sentence that you can say when you meet up with a Catholic priest. So we have the tree price that maxed out. That means back to this one here. Okay, wait a second. We will go for random always, I would say. It's, it's good enough, okay? The area and duration is also solid. Especially the duration, because it helps not a single weapon that we have. <laughs> wait, no, no, no. It helps a tree bracelet. There we go. I somehow feel like I'm slower. Or is it just the fast weapons around me make it feel like I'm slower? Or maybe the faster enemies? That could also be the case. I, it's still at negative 10%, but it, it just feels like it. Here, just checking if anything changed. It Did I lose might? Didn't we have 310% or so? Oh, interesting. So I'm sorry if the video had any audio issues or something like this. The thing is, I can always test it on my own and what I hear, but after compression on YouTube, it is severely different to what you usually have. And I want to make sure that it's also good there. And for example, it could be that for me, something sounds weird, but after the compression on YouTube, it sounds better. As stupid as that sounds, that did happen to me in the past. And Silver Ring is maxed out. That means we are back to the limit break. Is there any boss that I have to be concerned about? Maybe the one at minute 25? He doesn't take knockback, so that could be difficult, but no, I think I'll be able to do that. Also, did the weapon get changed? The tree bracelet? Look at how it's performing right now. I Like, it's it's not great, but it doesn't feel bad. Which of my stats could do that? Uh, okay, area. <laughs> Probably area. <laughs> uh, might is also insanely high. Yeah, okay. I think something that the weapon is missing is it needs the heart of fire effect. But maybe just at a quarter, since you have so many more projectiles that will multi-trigger. Oh my god. That will multi-trigger. I think that would be reasonable. I'm not sure if there's a way to implement this, because the 0.5 scaling that it has, so Heart of Fire, whenever it damages an enemy, it deals 0.5 damage off the weapon. And if this is coded on the Arcana, then it's more difficult to change it for another weapon. I mean, you could go the lazy route and you could say, if it's Heart of Fire, then do this. If it's anything else, then go 0.25. That might work. Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. But yeah, I don't know. But at the same time, if you would have like 10 Heart of Fire brocks over here right now. No, this would be way too overpowered. Like crazily overpowered. 
And there we have our Arcana. I think we can just go through each of them and decide on something. Um, Iron Blue Will would be good. Is there anything that would be potentially better? Hellfire Bouncing, maybe? No, I think the Bouncing of Death Spiral is stronger. Oh, I have an idea. But I have to find it. Okay, there's Hellfire Bouncing. No, no, I don't want that. That could be fun. <laughs> Should I just go for the Game Killer? Ah, that destroys Limit Break. I like Limit Break too much. Uh, cool. <laughs> Wait, no! This is my last roll! Oh, will I actually sink this low? Well, I do- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that is not bad. Well, it's also not great. The problem is I have very little movement speed, so the effect is less than it would be, as far as I know. Oh, I'm actually not certain right now, but I think I was told the more movement speed you have, the better the arcana with the movement. Like, it's not just the act of movement that decreases the cooldown, or rather the animation gap, but it's how fast you move. But I'm not sure on that, okay? Don't quote me on that. Uh, either way, we have now a super powerful garlic. I guess it also affects Thunderloop a little bit. I would like to just stand still. Can, can I somehow do something that it stops? <laughs> I really don't like the gold fever. I will just hide in the corner here in hopes it stops. Late is at around 50k. We can't sustain it either way. But it already looks good. Okay, come on. Come on. There we go. Nice. So, do you hear a difference for the Thunderloop if I move or if I don't move? So, right now I'm not moving. Okay. Uh, and now it's moving. Okay, but okay, it's a lot faster. Oh, wow. Wait, that is a huge difference. And I think I can just bump into a piano. Yeah, it's still going. Okay, interesting. I don't know. It's definitely not as fast as I'm used to, I think. But it does sound like it's still very fast in general. So that's not bad. Okay, let's take a look at our stats. Oh, wow. Okay, our might completely disappeared. What? What happened here? We just got 36 armor out of nowhere. And our... Okay, this keeps growing, this keeps growing, this keeps growing. For might, I actually think the last digit has changed. Uh, but this might also be just a negative 75% decrease on the stat, you know? Um, okay, aside from that, 36 armor, wow. Well, I don't think anything can touch me anymore. I mean, touching, yes, but <laughs> I won't die. I also decided to now get rid of the damage numbers. I don't think we'll see something that is all too exciting in general. Oh, I want that. I won't get that. At 25, it will give us a good idea on how strong the boss is, but also how well we deal with them, with the ones that rush at us. Because I'm quite scared of the minute 29 wave, with only negative 10% movement speed. 24 minutes? Uh, yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not a big problem. Hellfire is taking care of most of the enemies, I would say. But then again, even in the spots where Hellfire is not shooting, they are just dying. They can't do a lot here. The Arcana that I wanted was the one that gives more projectiles to Hellfire to make sure that it hits more enemies. Like, plus three projectiles is a lot, but I couldn't find it, so that was a little bit sad. And there we have another vacuum with a oh, gold fever attached to it. Uh, is this an NFT? Hopefully. No, there was another vacuum. Okay, well, I mean, it's, it's, it's fine, you know. Wasn't looking out for another vacuum either way to use at 29 minutes. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so how are we doing? I would say the witch is about to die and she's dead. Yeah, okay, that was easy. With the amount of hits that we do with garlic, I think it's pretty much impossible that even someone who is knockback resistant will be able to get through. Because in the game, every single weapon has a base knockback, which is actually not a knockback. It just interrupts the enemy from moving. Whenever you do a hit, I didn't just do that. Okay. But that also means if you have incredible speed on garlic with moving around like we have, yeah, it's really difficult to get to us. Uh, don't get me wrong, the Reaper will still jump to us and just kill me. His problem is something else. His problem is the speed. And with how much curse do we have? 280%? Yeah, his speed multiplied with this. Very powerful. What happened to my armor? Why is it going down again? Wait, I have 36 armor, now I have 33. This is like some sort of a cycle. I'm right now debating whether it would be great to see what the stat changes are for the Pokemon. Maybe not before you blade the first time, but after you blade. Oh no, better idea. So imagine until level 200. Yes, this is a thing in this mod. 
sometimes the level ups go incredibly far that you get them super duper late, like a nerf or a buff, it's amazing, which is one thing that I really love about this mod. As the normal characters in Vampire Survivors, they stop at like level 30 latest, or it's every single level up, but that's nothing special, right? Because it's just every single level up. But I think what would be great would be like a bestiary, and whenever you unlock a bonus or a nerf, just something that happens on a level up, it will be added to the bestiary. So all the on every level up bonuses, because we clearly have them, like I think the area and uh, duration, maybe also the speed, yeah I'm pretty sure they are level up bonuses per level up. Oh we got 5.7 regeneration, wow that's a lot. Wait we have 550% luck? We have 350% greed? Negative 1% growth? Didn't even notice them. Yeah, but this is what I mean. Like, once you have them unlocked, they should be listed in a bestiary of heroes or of characters. So you can take a look at them and actually know what the characters do. It's not really needed in base vampire survivors. Again, since it's just listed. It tells you this does this. Okay, for Smith it would be good to know what happens every single level up. But it's also kind of easy to figure that out. Panini or Toasty, those are a little bit harder since, well, if you just try the character out, there's a high chance you'll never get to level 100 or 200 unless you're dedicated to get there. But this means you already knew about the level up bonuses, so this wouldn't be part of this conversation. Oh, uh, whatever, it's fine. I think it would just be great to have a list that shows off what are the level ups and they only show up after you unlock them. Like, you could still show, okay, at level 25 or here, level 20, level 40. It didn't show up at 60, and maybe it was at 80, I assume. Level 80, level 120, something like this. Question mark, question mark, question mark. And then you get to level 20 in the game, and if you quit in that moment, only for level 20, it will show you what's happened there. But we are about to hit 29 minutes. Um. Okay, what is my estimate? Some of these enemies do get in quite far, but that's only because of lack of projectiles. I don't think we'll have a problem. And down there are multiple vacuums. I'll try to pick just this one out. Oh, this is so difficult. Oh, I got it. Perfect. And there we go. Give me all the experience. Wasn't a lot. We just hit level 170. Oh, 175 could be a number. Did anything change? We just got speed. We got duration. This looks ridiculously high, but I think it was just already high. Nothing down here changed. Okay. So I think it's confirmed that some of these here are per level up. The problem is you as a viewer, you can just focus on the numbers and remember them. For me, it's more like I look at them, then I do something, think about something else. You know, I do something entirely different. And then I remember, hey, wait a second, Dex. There was something that you wanted to take a look at, you know. And then it's no longer in my brain. I just froze them. Ah... Uh. Okay, it's fine. I'm just noticing I have a ton of rosaries around. Is there... Oh, there's another freeze. I think I can just use this vacuum. And there we go. Can we maybe reach level 200? I don't think so. Our growth set is way too low for that. Um, This should be another rosary and... I just took both of the vacuums. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Easy. Come on, five levels, five levels. We can do this. Okay. I think I'll pick up the freeze. And then the vacuum. There we go. And vacuum. Come on. 200. 200. 200. 200. That was pathetic. As we can see, Death Spiral Hellfire, ruler of everything. What really surprises me is I haven't gotten an achievement. I have no idea how to unlock this.